yourself in the door to talk to an investor based on a great product. But you get yourself out of the door holding a check with a great go-to-market strategy. This video is brought to you by Procopia Law, the recommended law firm of Founders Floor. So, uh, you know, it's really, it's so different for so many companies, it's hard to generalize, but this is all about how you use sales and marketing strategy to acquire customers. And um, one, of, one of my, depending on your situation, but I think most of the time what I prefer to see is a kind of short-term, long-term breakout. Because, like long-term, you want to have a very sophisticated strategy that can ramp you up to a huge company. So you might talk about, you know, some kind of distribution technology or distribution relationships or size of a direct sales force or what have you. But if you're talking only about that grand vision long term, then the person reading this document is thinking, well, that's really lovely, but you know, you're a three person startup right now. How are you selling right now? So, so I'm differentiating. I would say right now, what do you do? You know, often the words are like, hey, our team came from the world of Wi-Fi. We know everybody in the ecosystem there, so we are making direct calls to old friends at every major company and, and you know, getting into the people who deal with Wi-Fi at that company. That's a perfectly fine you know, near-term bootstrapping go-to-market strategy. But then you might layer onto that, over time, we will go to distribution through Honestly, I have no idea how you distribute Wi-Fi technology, but whatever. 